This is Sunday for crying out loud. What are you gonna do? Down! Stay down! Jacob, stay down! Stay right now, you're Stay down. Put your hands behind your back. Nope. Hey, get off Stay down. You too, honey. <laughs> Go to the ground. Shut it down! It's a bit on the stuff. Put the axe down! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! This is my Put it down! What's up guys? I'm Patty Mayo. Welcome to The Hunt. It's almost the end of summer, so starting today, until they're gone, you can get Americana board shorts for $20. Five dollars, normally forty-five. Now, before we get started, want to give a shout out to all you fantastic people that have already purchased merch. And if you want a shout out and some merch of your very own, click that link in the description or go to pettymayo.tv. Giving a shout out to puberty, the thing I haven't gone through. Andrew F from Massachusetts. Gray Woolsey, I love your channel. Jade and Sean. Sam, yes, my last name is Wildman. Lex, Mitchell, and Nico, the Burke family from Canada. Cosmic Cobra, 28. Hashtag Big Black Boom Boom Cocoa Butter Mayo D. Officer JL Smith. Amy L5, Troy, Alabama. Gray Miller. Taylor B Taylor Brewer, Oklahoma. Spencer loves the Southland Bounty Hunters. Corbin C. Jeremy Nations. Rich Disby. Fugitive Recovery 136. Greg. Scope 12, Tay's your next fugitive. And last but not least, Bryce. If you want to shout out and some merch of your very own, click that link in the description or go to pattymayo.tv. Remember, all until they're gone, Americana board shorts on sale, normally 45, now 25. And now, on to the hunt. All right, guys, right now we are setting up to go apprehend Shelly. Shelly has a warrant for failure to appear. Older lady, not a violent lady according to her criminal history. Of course, like anyone, we'll take the due precautions. Get Jared on this camera, Kale on this camera, two cars, ready to go do a little knock and pop. Are you ready? Let's do it. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. I had someone call over to Shelly's house this morning with a uh, bogus phone call just to verify she was there. She, Jared's beeping at me. She picked up the phone. We. What? Oh, apparently I'm going the wrong way. She picked up the phone, so we know she's there. Sometimes we'll call ahead just to make sure we're not wasting our time, obviously, and make sure that the uh, defendant is there. So we'll call and say something like, Hi, I'm calling on behalf of the Church of Latter-day Saints. Want to know if you'd like to make a donation today? And of course, everyone just hangs up on you, right? But uh, it lets us know if someone's there. I'll give you a little replay. Hello. Hi, is, uh, is Shelly there? This is Shelly. Hi, Shelly, this is Martin from the Church of Latter-day Saints. I was just wondering if you'd like to make a donation to our wonderful cause today. What? Oh, I missed it. Jared's paying attention to the GPS, I'm not. It's all right. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Kale's head's blocking me a little bit. It's all right. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> it's all right. All right. My understanding this is a duplex, and she lives on the right-hand side. Bail bonds! Stay back from the door a little bit. Bail bonds! Shelly, open the door! But no, I... I've got to go to work. I don't have time for this. Shelly, open the door. Bail bonds! I don't know you. You know who I am, Shelly. I'm with the bail bonds coming. With bail bonds. Let me open this door. Shelly, I need you to open this door right now. I'm not gonna have this conversation with you through the door. Get away from my window. Open the door, Shelly. No, you need to go away. Shelly, get two options. You can open this door or I will forcefully open it for you. You will not open my door. I'm, I'm calling the 
You can call the police. I'm going to kick this door in. You will not. This door is getting kicked down, Shelly. I'm calling Go ahead. They already know we're here. I can see right through this. She's in, she just went towards the back. Shelly, come back to the front door. All right, right now she's being uncooperative. Told us that uh, she needs to go to work and she's not having it. Stop the car! Stop the car! Stop your car! Let me see your hands! Put your car in park right now! Put it in park! Put it in park! Put your hands on the steering wheel! Do not move! Turn your car off! Shelly, turn your car off! Shelly, turn your car off! Put your hands where I can see them! Stay right there! Using your left hand, unlock this door. Use your left hand, unlock this door. What is your problem? Just, I just, Do you know who I am? No. Do you know why we're here? My name is Patrick. I'm a bail bonds. You have a warrant for failure to appear because you didn't show up to your court date. You are not a police officer. You're right. I am a bounty hunter. I am due to collect you for the court and for the bail bonds company. Keep your hands where I can see them. Okay. If you turn your vehicle on, you will be in big sh**. You need to just, I am a single mother. You need to just calm down. You need to relax. Just, you need to relax. You're trying to flee and need you need to, to relax. Okay, we will help you handle your children. But right now you need to listen to what I'm telling you. Stay just like that. Give me this hand. No! Give me this hand. No, Give me this hand. Oh God, no. Give me your other hand. I'm not fighting. Give me your, I know you're not fighting. Not Give me your other hand. Not, oh my God. Don't, don't take me to jail. Stay just like that. Stay just like that, Shelly. All right, we need to get her out of this car. You need to step out of this car best you can. You put yourself in this situation, so I need you to step out of the car. Don't take Shelly, step out of the car. I'm a single mom. They don't okay, have I understand. But me. I can't get out. Okay, I'll I can't help. get out. Put your hands up. See if you put your hands up above you. See if you can sneak out. Oh God! I'll help you. I can't get out. Don't you take me to jail. Step over here. I'm a single mom. I don't step up here. What is your issue? You know why we're here. I, why didn't you show up to your court I'm, date? I'm, I'm working. It was just, I was at work. I can't miss work. I'm a single mom. I am all they have. Okay. We understand that. Are you scared of sentencing? Are you scared of what's going to happen in court? I just, I don't, I didn't, I don't have the money. I, I have been sick. Mm -hmm. You don't have the money for what? To pay. To make the payments. Okay. But I need my car. Okay. I need my car. I have to go to work. We're not going to take your car. We have nothing to do with your car. Okay. Jail. Your payments with the bail bonds company are all paid up. Okay. okay. If you need help with your additional payments, they can work with you on that. You worry about the court fines and things like that and all the other legal fees. Yes. What about your lawyer? Do you have a lawyer? I have a friend who's a lawyer. Okay. So you so which which payments are you worried about? Are you just worried about the whole thing? Is just kind of confusing you or making you anxious or I, I don't I don't I don't have time I have to go to work I work two jobs I'm a single mom I understand I'm all they have I understand and, and you're scaring them right now I'm scaring who my kids where are your kids you said you were gonna pick up your kids my son is in his room he's in his room here mm -hmm. and you were just gonna what take off and leave him here he's 12 
He's 12, so he can stay here by himself, and you were just going to take off and leave him? I need to get my little girl. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Today, you're not going to be able to go pick up your daughter, but we can arrange for you. We can, we can arrange for someone to go pick up your daughter, but what needs to happen, listen to me. Listen to me. There are a couple ways that I can help you. If you listen, there's a couple ways that I can help you. Okay? We go down, we're going to go back down to the bail bondsman office. We're going to get you turned in for your existing bench warrant for failure to appear. Listen. You're going to get turned in for your existing bench warrant on failure to appear. Okay? We will bail you back out. So you will be back out today. What time does your daughter need to get picked up? By 2. By 2. It's 10 o'clock. If we hurry... We can get down to the office, get the paperwork situated, get over to the courthouse. By the time we show up at the courthouse, we'll already have your new bond figured out, okay? You get booked and processed through them. It'll take a couple hours. That'll be the longest process there. We'll have the clerk pull you right back out. We'll put you back on new bond. Make sense? Okay. If you give me resistance and you pull any more crap like you were about to pull here, that's going to result in a much longer stay in the jail for you because then we will not bail you back out, right? Okay. From... From now on, I needed to know something from you. That when we make contact with you and we show up for you, that you're not going to lock the door on us. You're not going to ignore our phone calls. You're not going to try to run. Okay? We're the people that get you out of jail. We're the people that work with you. Okay? We don't charge you with crimes. We help you get away from them. Make sense? I'm not taking those off. I've actually been very nice and putting these in front for you. Okay? I know you're just scared and you're trying to run. Okay? Make sense? Do you have anything on you that you don't want to go down to jail with? What do you have on you? I don't have anything. Do you have pockets in, on these pants? Yeah. Do. Anything in your pockets? No. Okay. Let's go fix your, get your car situated over here. Step back. Come on. We need to hurry so that we can get you in and out before your, uh, your daughter needs to get out of school. Step back over here. What are we going to do about your car? This is just sitting in the middle of the driveway. <laughs> want me to pull it back in for you? Okay, I want you to stand right here. Do you want to have a seat right here? Have a seat. I don't want to sit down. Okay, well, I want you to sit down. Why? Because I, I asked you to sit down. <laughs> work with me, not against me, and you will get your, your daughter when she gets out of school. You work against me, you will not. <laughs> okay. Just like that. Just stand right there for me, okay? Chill. I can't get in your car. Not that way. All right, now what we're going to do is uh, to get her car moved in and her house secured. She has a son inside, and we'll do that. Oh, yeah. Back a little bit. <coughs> okay, shall I stand up? Stand up. How do we close your garage from here? Where's your house key? Okay, how are we supposed to lock your house? Can I bring my garage door opener? Where's your garage door opener? It's on the visor. On the on driver's side? Come stand right here. How often do you leave your son home alone? He's 12. He's 12? So he's okay staying home?
you need to say something to him before he goes? Or he doesn't, does he know what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Devin, I'm okay. You stay here. No, I'm okay. Just, just stay in your room, okay? I'll be home soon. I'm okay. Okay. All right. Where's your phone and your ID? They're in my purse. Okay, do you want to take those things down with you so you know you have you have all the numbers you need to contact? Do you know them by heart or do you want your phone? Can I have my phone? You need your phone? Okay, let's get your phone. Let's get your ID. Anything in here I need to know about? Do we need to take all this, put this purse down to jail with you, or can we just take your phone and your ID? Can I have my purse? I'm sorry? Can I have my purse? What do you need in here? I just want my purse. Okay, but you're going to go down to the jail. You're not going to be able to carry this in with you. Okay, this is all going to go into your property. The reason I'm asking you, we need your ID for the paperwork, and you're going to need your phone for contact numbers in case you need to contact a relative or your son or your daughter or the school or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Everything's in here? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Now put this back on top of your car. You can get it when you return home, okay? Stay right here. Listen to me. When you see us coming, it's not always bad. Maybe it means that you screwed up, but at the same time, we're not the police here to take you in jail and throw away the key, right? We're with the bail bonds company. Our job is to get you out of jail. The only way I make money is if I get you out of jail, right? Does it do me any good if, I, if you sit down in jail? Do you think I want to see your kids all upset that their mother's gone for the day? Do you think I want to see your daughter waiting at school for mother to show up and she doesn't show up because she's locked up? No. I want to work with you, okay? And I will work with you the best that I can. And here's what I'm going to do. Regardless of all this stuff, we're going to ignore that this all happened. As far as I'm concerned, none of this happened, okay? We're going to go down to the bail bonds office. We're going to write you a new bond. We're going to go down to the courthouse, get your bench warrant cleared. Once that's cleared up, the clerk will deliver you back to us. We'll re-release you, okay? Once again, when this comes back around, when your new court date comes, you need to show up to court. If for whatever reason you can't show up to court, you need to ignore that reason and show up to court. Because that's the only thing that's going to get you released. I've looked at your charges. I've looked at your case. This is nothing that you're going to go to jail for. You're more or less looking at like 200 hours of community service, okay? It's nothing that you're going to go to jail for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Everything you see on paper where you could be, you know, the maximum sentence, you could go to jail for up to, up to a year. You could get fined up to $10,000, okay? In this case, the DA in your county, you're, realistically, you're only looking at community service, okay? This is your first time offense. No. Relax. This is not a felony. Okay? You need to take a second, relax, collect yourself. This is not a big deal. I'm sorry. You're making it more of a big deal than it is. I'm sorry. This whole thing, you could have gotten someone killed here. You come here and you're backing up. You could have hit one of my camera crew, hit one of me. If I think you're trying to hit us with your vehicle, what's going to happen, right? I'm going to fire rounds into your vehicle, okay. right? I don't want to see that happen. No. I know you're scared. So I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Work with me, and I'll work with you. I've never been in trouble. Ever. I understand. I know that. I will be your best friend in law enforcement. Okay? When you need help, I want you to call me. Hey, Pat, I got a question. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going to happen. Call me. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Okay? I can't guarantee you that that's going to be the, out the outcome, yeah. outcome of your case. But realistically, yeah. with who you are, with your pat with, with with your with your non-existent criminal history with this charge with the first time offense and all that it's not a big deal okay you're not going to get your kids taken away but you can go that route okay you can make it way worse for yourself by not showing up to court and being scared that's where people get themselves into trouble then you pick up additional charges then you pick up resisting uh, running fleeing all that stuff okay make sense okay let's go down and get this taken care of I can't take them off. Legal, legally, I can't. It's part of our, it's, it's our policy here. I'm going to put you in this car. I'm not even going to put you in the paddy wagon, all right? You know how many people get cuffs in the front? Like nobody. Uh, 
Yeah, she's gonna have to go front seat with me. All right, I'm gonna put you in the front seat here with Jared. That's another thing nobody gets. Nobody gets the front seat. Nobody. Have a seat. You have any questions for me? When can I come home? We're gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna do our best to make sure that you get there for two o'clock to get your daughter out of school. That's our goal. And here's my promise to you. Here's my promise to you. You will be out of jail today, in the event that the court delays, because we can't tell the court to hurry up, right? In the event that they're not able to get you out in time to get your daughter, I will send somebody or I will go personally myself to pick her up and bring her right to you. She won't be scared. I won't show up in any of this. We'll go normally, okay? We'll go get a friend, a family member. Do you have a family member that can go pick her up? I have a friend. You have a friend? Would you prefer a friend to go pick her up? Okay. If you can't get up by two, we'll arrange for your friend to pick her up, okay? We'll make that call on the way down to the jail so it's a B plan. Because we got an A plan and a B plan. Can I, Make sense? Can, can, I, can I text my friend? Yeah, I'm going to give you a phone right now. You can text your friend. You can make all the phone calls you want on the way down there. Handle any business that you want. We're going to work with you. All I want you to do is relax. Okay, it's all over. Okay. There's no need to get upset. This is not a big deal. Okay. All right? You all set? Yeah. You need medical attention? No. Okay, just relax. Take a deep breath. Collect yourself. Relax. Everything is going to be okay, all right? I'm going to close your garage door. We're going to be on our way. It's a misdemeanor, it's not a felony, it's not something that she's gonna go away for, not something she's gonna lose her kids for, not something she's gonna lose her house over. Um, so we're gonna do our best to work with her. She's scared, uh, she locked the door, tried to flee. I understand that, I mean, it's not the best decision on her part, but she's never been in trouble before. She's scared, she's a single mother. So we're gonna work with her the best we can. We're gonna lock up her house. Um, I guess she's gonna leave her, her son here, and hopefully we can get her out by two o'clock so she can pick up her daughter. Remember, we get you new fugitive, like Shelly, almost every single day. I'm Patty Mayo. We'll see you on the next one.